We are going to spend a lot of time in this course talking about uncertainties. So before we get into that, I wanted to explain why we need them. Ask any professional scientist and they'll tell you uncertainties are absolutely vital. A number without an uncertainty is meaningless, we say. But why? Well, I guess there are three main reasons. One is to test theories, one is to see if something is real, and one is when you're predicting something. For example, let's say you want to see something if something is real. Uh, in my own career, I've spent a lot of time trying to detect incredibly faint galaxies at the far edge of the universe. You look at this image, it's got noise all over it, and you're thinking, ooh, it looks a bit brighter up there, maybe I've seen a galaxy. To know whether that slight bright patch you see is actually real or just noise, you need to know what the noise is, what the uncertainties are. Testing theories is also really important. Let's say I have a theory that if I give students chocolate, they will do better in homework. What I could do is divide the class in half, give half of them chocolate, leave half of them with just celery or something else to eat, and then see what their grades were like. If the grades for those who had chocolate were 2% higher, does that mean I should then issue chocolate to all students across ANU? Well, not really. I mean, 2%, you might well expect a random half of the class to do 2% better or worse than somebody else just because of chance, who happened to get assigned to that group, how good they're feeling that day. You really need to know what you expect the difference to be just because of random factors and make sure that what we actually see is bigger than that. Third situation is often you need to build something or predict something so it meets a certain specification, like a door has to fit in a frame, a space probe has to land in a safe area. And uncertainties are really important in that. Let's say you need to land a space probe in a clear patch on Mars, and if it goes outside that clear patch, it might land on a boulder and topple over. And if that clear patch is 100 metres across, then the uncertainty in where you land it better be smaller than 100 metres. If it's a kilometre uncertainty, then odds are it's not going to land in the clear patch. It's going to land somewhere rough and topple over, and you've got a dead space probe. So not enough to know where you're going to land it. You have to know what the precision is, how accurately you can fit it in, what the errors are on that. So uncertainties, errors, precision, these are really important.